Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here and today we are doing the top 10 Android apps of May for 2020. First of all, I'd just like to mention that we're almost at 40,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe, it would definitely help me out. But without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Okay, so the first app up on the list is called Lit Walls. This is a great wallpaper app that I found. It's very minimalistic. It's got a really clean interface. And the most important thing is that it has some really, really amazing wallpapers. Probably some of the best that I've seen pretty much competing with backdrops, which is down there with my number one. This is definitely really, really great. They're all super high quality. There is tons of different options and genres to choose from. Here's some of my favorites in the favorite section. You can easily go ahead and edit inside the app so you can add blurs, you can crop, and then you can go ahead and apply it or download it. But there's an explore tab, a popular tab, and you can even go ahead and pick up live wallpapers in this app as well, which is especially neat. But they're all really great. Definitely go check it out. As you can see on my home screen, this one is also pretty damn good. Up next is Orange Teal. Now this one is pretty good if you take photos, you'd like photography and you're posting on Instagram quite a lot. There's a bunch of different filters which you can choose from. And overall, this is quite a simple app. All you do is you go to your gallery, select a photograph and there's a bar beneath the photo. You can go ahead and slide that up to increase the strength of the filter. And then you can simply swipe left or right on the image to go through all the different filters. So a little bit like Instagram, but these filters are really, really nice. It gives the photo quite a sort of a dusty tropical kind of look. And you can go ahead and change the shadows, the overall contrast and the saturation. And I think it looks really, really nice. Definitely go check it out if you do like photo editing. Up next is an app called Shop. This one's great if you like to manage your packages that are being delivered. This basically automatically imports all of your packages that you've ordered and then goes ahead and tells you step by step where the package is. It even shows you a map as well so you can go ahead and actually see where the delivery is going. Within your deliveries you can also go ahead and see the price, the order number and more order details. And obviously it does show you who your carrier is as well. A new feature is that there's now this sort of shop tab in the middle. This allows you to sort of go around different stores online and actually just go ahead and order it directly through this app rather than going to the internet and browsing on different websites. You have the same sort of UI, but if you do want to import all of your deliveries, you simply sync it up with Gmail. It scans through all of your emails for the tracking numbers or you can manually enter it, but it's a really good app that I use to keep track of my deliveries. Up next is Fing. This one's really useful if you have a server or you're just curious as to what devices are connected to your Wi-Fi. This goes ahead and scans through all of the devices. It shows you the type of device. It also shows you how long it's been connected for because it does track the duration. And you can see them all here. So I do have a lot of devices on my Wi-Fi, but it will tell you the device name, the brand. It will tell you the operating system it's currently running, the IP address, and you have some various options like wake on LAN or ping the device. So it just gives you a little bit more control. It also does track your current provider and it shows you various outages in your country. And it also has a built-in tracker which actually tracks when things disconnect and reconnect to your Wi-Fi. This is definitely exceptionally useful. You can also go ahead and export the whole list of all the devices and all of their various informations, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're into that stuff. Up next is Cartomizer. This one's really neat. You basically go ahead and select a photograph of your car or anyone else's car by that matter. And then you can go ahead and put it within the crop margin, click okay. And this will allow you to actually go ahead and swap out the wheels. So there's a lot of pre-built in wheel types which you can choose from. It's pretty quick, it automatically sort of puts them on where the wheel should be. And it looks pretty realistic. This is quite handy if you wanna just mess around, show off that you have uh, various wheels or whatever you might want to do, but you can also go ahead and try different wheels on your car to see if you like them, see if you like the way they look, but it's definitely really neat just being able to do this and it's actually pretty realistic, but if you do want to apply some other wheels, there's also an option to go ahead and import your own from another image from online. Overall, pretty neat app. Up next is SMS Organizer. Now, I don't really use my SMS much because of all the clutter, this makes things a lot simpler for me. I get lots of text messages for various transactions like confirmation things from my bank or delivery companies. 
This app basically sorts them all into one tab, so I don't have those all fused together with my social stuff. Then there's also a promotional tab from when I get messages from people with offers like Domino's or food companies, things like that, they all go into this place. So it's really neat having them all separate. And then obviously we have the social, which is just people like my friends and family that I wanna to talk to. And a neat feature I found was that it can actually track your deliveries, not quite as accurate as shop, but it's still pretty good. Other than that, it has a couple of theme options. I've got the dark theme enabled, but overall, if you're looking for a messaging app, this is definitely a pretty good option. Something else that's a nice little addition is that there is these sort of quick reply messages. So if you are busy, you can just go ahead and tap that to give a quick response. Now the one up next is really nice if you're making videos and you want a video intro, maybe you're not the best at editing. This one has a lot of free intros that you can go ahead and use and you can go ahead and customize them. There's quite a few options on the homepage here. So as you can see, these are all free. You can go ahead and select on one of the themes you can also change the scale, the positioning, the color, the actual text, and then you can go ahead and add a background as well, which there is a lot to choose from. And you can get a pretty clean looking intro, which you can then go and export in 1080p, which is really nice. There's an option for favorite intros, so you can easily find the ones you like. And there's also an option to actually go ahead and change the rendering type, so you can make it software or hardware. If you do wanna pick up the pro version, obviously you can go ahead and get some more, but I think it's pretty neat just as it is. Up next is Story Beat. This one is really nice if you like to make stories a lot on Instagram and you struggle to put music over the top. It allows you to make a story, for example, that slowly transitions and zooms in. It has the option to sort of crop, add your music. It does have a lot of songs available, even ones that are all copyrighted and things, so you can go ahead and post these on your story. You can also go and crop the audio if you want as well, and then simply go ahead and hit play, and there you go. There's your story for Instagram. And then you can go ahead and easily share it to your social media platforms, for example, Instagram stories. It does have sort of this like little thing at the bottom telling you the song and things just for copyright, but you can go ahead and zoom in and it easily gets rid of that. But there is also some more options for panoramic videos and zoom out. So definitely go check that out. This one is called Volve. This is sort of a news app that's got a really clean interface. I must admit this is actually really, really smooth, um, especially on the S20's 120 hertz display. But basically you scroll on down the text and it will change the image and you can go ahead and read all the various news articles. There is a button so you can go ahead and view the real full article if you would like that. But if you do wanna take a step back, you can easily press this button in the top right, which will sort of zoom things out and give you a more Google News style theme, which has the various articles listed down the way. Personally, I think it's really cool just how it comes. A lot of the stuff is definitely very, very interesting as well. It's definitely not full of bloated news that you don't care about. In the sidebar, there is some categories you can choose from. There's also a light mode, but obviously I'm gonna keep it in the dark mode, but the option's still there. And the last one was Moobert. Now this was really interesting one for me because this was a music player where it doesn't use any music online. So it uses AI in order to generate various different sounds using various different instruments and sort of inbuilt tones. And it constructs various different songs depending on the genre that you like. You can go ahead and tell it whether you like or dislike various aspects of the tune and it will go ahead and tweak it and sort of play different songs until you like it and then it will merge them together into a song that you like. So a little bit crazy of an idea and the app is definitely going to take a while to learn the sort of songs you like but it's worth a shot. It's free. There's a bunch of different modes. It's got a super clean interface and it's overall just fun to kind of play around with. It's this new sort of idea which I think could actually grow into something. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out, I'll see you guys later.